Looks like one of your stewardesses has an admirer. Maybe he likes her personality. Councilman Rose, you're looking dapper. Well, thank you. And you are an absolute vision. <laughs> Captain, what word if I may? <clears throat> it saddens me when I see a man, obviously, unsuited for his position, exercising power over his betters. I find myself hoping you're talking about my XO. I am. I mean, he's from the lower decks, I'm told. I mean, perhaps his family didn't teach him manners, but he bullies his way into my quarters, and he makes an announcement that I have to vacate. Well, he didn't give you advance notice? Oh, that's not the point. Have you seen the temporary quarters? They're horrible. How can we expect it to live there and in for two days? Well, it's funny you should mention my first officer because he has something to say to you. Councilman Rose, I'm glad you're here. Oh, I've been wanting to apologize. It was clearly inappropriate of me to expect a man of your importance to give way to petty maintenance issues. And the heat in my quarters just miraculously... Faulty feedback line. <laughs> Regrettable. Thank you for this opportunity to make things right. Councilman. Captain. Oh, perhaps it's not a complete loss. <laughs> and until now, Captain, I thought the only good decision you ever made was your wife. <laughs> How many do you mean, Councilman? the greatest journey ever undertaken. A century-long sojourn to a new world, completed by the grandchildren of the brave souls who embarked on this adventure. How do I know? Lorelai's always taking off somewhere. You shouldn't be doing that. It's none of your business, Krista. Lorelai will probably be back when the band starts.
think it's gone.